Hello everyone. In today's video lecture series, we'll be working on uh, how to define a turbine and a valve. These two are very important equipment in chemical engineering applications. In any industry you go, you'll find these equipment. Uh, that's uh, turbine, compressors, <coughs> and a valve. Compressors we have dealt in uh, a previous lecture series. Today we'll be discussing this turbine, which is an expander, and a valve. Um, we will show you how to define these in high sys environment, which is of course the same would be in even swing environment, and uh, how to put the values and how to uh, simulate these two important equipment. Uh, this lecture series has been organized by www.unitoperation.com and my name is Shekhar Bhattacharji. So just like any other lecture, why not we start with the very first slide, uh, natural gas, uh, methane, methane and propane uh, at 25 degrees Celsius and 20 bar. So it's fed into an expander. So let's say this is a turbine here. So we have, let's say this is a turbine. And in this turbine, the inlet conditions are, what is this is a natural gas, hydrocarbons, methane, ethane, and propane. And this is 25 degrees Celsius and pretty high pressure, which is 20 bar. And uh, this has an isentropic efficiency of 30%. The flow rate of the natural gas is 100 kilomole per hour. So per 100 kilomole, uh, what to be the power requirement? We'll look into that. And the outer pressure is five bar. So this is going out at five bar. And as I said, this is a, like a turbine where there's an expansion of this hydrocarbon, which is coming in at a very high pressure. So using Penn-Robinson equation of state, which is a very standard equation of state for different hydrocarbons, uh, we have to determine what the outlet temperature is. And of course, at the same time, we'll find out what will be the power which you will get out of this expansion process of, uh, that means the expansion of this natural gas at high pressure, that means 20 bar to 5 bar. So that is our uh, objective found. So we go here, we choose methane, enter ethane enter and propane enter so these hydrocarbons or the compounds which are entering uh, that is chosen and as we all know the next stage would be defining the fluid package so we go down and choose ping robinson equation of state that is very standard so let us go to the simulation environment here so we are going to define a uh, uh, an expander so what we're going to do we choose an expander here so don't choose this turbine choose an expander because this is not available in steady state we choose the expander right click and bring it over here so that's what we have done now we have to define the inlet and the outlet conditions this is inlet and we say this is outlet and uh, we define the energy which we will get out of this turbine as uh, turbine T U R B I N E. So this is what we get. And in the parameter section, since this is 70% efficiency, 30% uh, efficiency, so we go here and we put 30% efficiency. So that's all the data which we have given. Now we will define the inlet and outlet condition. First, why not we define the inlet composition? The inlet composition is 50% ethane. So we put here uh, 0 0.5 and we hit enter. And then we define uh, ethane. ethane. So this is 0 0.30 and next we have 0 0.20 so that's what it defines so the inlet composition is defined so next we go to the conditions here in the conditions we put in 25 degrees celsius and 20 bar so we put here 25 degrees celsius and here we put 20 of course we go down the list drop down list and choose 20 bar and uh, the flow rate is uh, not uh, is 100 kilomole per hour so we put here 100 kilomole per hour so the entire inlet stream is defined and as you can see the properties have already been calculated <coughs> Now uh, we have the outlet pressure is 5 bar. So only thing left is what will be the outlet 
pressure so this are my inlet conditions are given and now we have to give the outlet conditions this five bar uh, which is already given so that pretty much completes the entire uh, simulation so the moment we put here five bar five bar automatically you see the entire system is now defined and this has turned out to be green and as you can see that there is a substantial temperature drop now this is minus of 6.19 degrees celsius so and the power required the which will get out of this expansion process would be 22.74 kilowatts so this is very simple so that's the way you define a turbine in your um, high seas or in a environment again do, do, just for the caution don't choose this turbine here that's not available steady state you choose this expander uh, so that will serve the purpose of defining a turbine so with that uh, let's go and uh, go to the next problem here in the next problem uh, we go here and next, well, let's see what we have steam at 10 bar at 10 bar absolute with 190 degrees Celsius super heat so this is little tricky is fed a turbine here so as you can see here the inlet condition is 10 bar uh, steam at 10 bar but it has 190 degrees Celsius super heat so you have to be careful about that so uh, we go there is fed in turbine at a rate of 2000 kilogram per hour so this flow rate is also defined so this flow rate, and then what is the turbine efficiency 70 percent so this has an efficiency of 70 percent and uh, and this f uh, effluent is saturated steam at one bar so this is at one bar So we have to calculate the work output of the turbine. So again, just the normal way, uh, let's do the simulation. We go here and we choose the view components here and uh, we choose uh, water H2O and we hit enter. So that's the only component we have because that steam, we got the fluid package and we add uh, a semi steam that's a very extensive database of steam properties and then we go into the simulation environment now again we'll choose a turbine so we'll choose this expander and in this expander again we define this as the inlet uh, condition and we choose this as the outlet condition and uh, we define uh, this as the w underscore turbine that's the amount of what we'll get out of the steam turbine and in the parameter section we put here 70 percent efficiency so default is 70 per 75 percent so we put 70 percent efficiency so that's the way you define next we define the inlet and outlet condition we hit the worksheet and we put first the composition here so this is pure steam so i put one here enter and then again enter so it goes back now we define what the conditions are the conditions are uh, let's say 2000 kilogram per hour so I put here 2000 that means 2 tons per hour of steam so that's defined and next we have 10 bar with 190 degrees Celsius superheat so uh, for superheat we know we have to find out what the saturation temperature to that we have to add the degree of superheat which is 190 degrees Celsius so for this steam at 10 bar we have to know what is the saturation temperature so for doing that we put here 10 and then we hit here bar and so that is the pressure now moment we put here one that gives the saturation temperature vapor fraction is one that gives me the saturation temperature see the saturation temperature of 10 bar steam which is 1000 kilopascal steam is 179.9 degrees celsius so what is the actual temperature so the actual temperature would be here your 179.9 actual temperature be 179.9 degrees which is a saturation temperature and to that we add 190 which is a super heat so this is 0 0.9 and this is 9 so 369.9 degrees celsius is the actual inlet temperature of this steam so we put here 
three so we now take this delete this one so this is not saturated anymore so automatically the temperature becomes blank so here we put 369.9 degrees celsius so the moment we do that you see the entire inlet stream is now defined the entire so only thing remaining is now to put the outlet pressure which is one bar so we go here and the pressure on the outlet stream and we put one bar and as you can see this has turned green so um, and the outlet temperature is 179.9 degrees celsius and of course the pressure is 1000 kilopascal 10 bar here and this is 100 kilopascal which is one bar here molar rate of course remains the same and here you can see we are getting 2 or 2.9 kilowatt of energy out of this expansion process from this turbine so that's the way you define uh, <coughs> the turbine in um, Hysis environment. So now let's go to the third problem here. In the third problem what we have um, is a steam at 500 bar. Hopefully you can all see uh, what is there. So let me put here and uh, let kind of expand this one. So here we have steam at 500 bar steam at 500 bar and 600 degrees Celsius is allowed to under the joule terms and expansion so basically throttling uh, to an adiabatic valve to an atmospheric pressure so here we have steam coming at 500 bar and 600 degrees Celsius and this is at one atmosphere so that's what it is what will be the temperature of steam uh, after expansion here so we want to know what will be this temperature here so that's what we want to know so how do you do that so again uh, let's go to uh, the case uh, here we put uh, water so h2o as the only component by now you all know how to do that and then of course we uh, go to the fluid package here and we add uh, ASME steam uh, which is a, a very good uh, database package for steam so we go here and then we of course we enter the simulation by, all, by now you all know how to do that now this is a throttling process so we enter a valve here so we put a valve here and in the valve of course again we define the inlet stream so this is my inlet and this is my outlet and uh, now we go directly into the worksheet here in the worksheet this is uh, of course first we define the composition the composition will be one we hit enter and enter and then we go into the conditions here in the conditions this is uh, 500 bar so I put here 500 500 bar uh, the inlet condition and the temperature is 600 degrees Celsius so we put the temperature here and the see the mass for it really does not ma matter as long as we want to know what the temperature whether you put one kilogram per hour 500 kilogram per hour whatever the, the 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 outlet temperature will remain the same so here we may put any value let's put here just one kilogram per hour but so now the system is defined so uh, after expansion this goes to one atmosphere pressure so we put here one and we go down here and uh, let's put here one atmospheric pressure see this has now turned green so system is now totally defined and the temperature is 385.5 degrees celsius so uh, here what we get here so here if this 500 bar 600 degrees celsius steam is expanded or throttled um, by joule terms and expansion basically in this valve here so the outer temperature would be dropping from 600 degrees celsius to 385 degrees celsius so that's the way you define the valve uh, let's do one more example and that will make it clear um, let's go to the next slide here in the next slide you see what we have is a steam supply line carries a two-phase liquid vapor mixture so what we have here a steam supply line so this is my supply line here uh, carries a so this is a liquid vapor mixture so it's a mixture at 300 psi so now we are entering into the english unit i have given the i have given the 
uh, SI units also side by side just for comparison here uh, as you can see let's go down a little bit so this is 2068 kilopascal and um, what we have here is small fraction of the steam line so basically this is small fraction of steam line steam coming in here at 300 psi is diverted to a throttling valve so this is my throttling valve here and is exhausted to atmosphere so this pressure is one atmosphere uh, we have to find out and the temperature of the exhaust stem is now 250 degrees Celsius so this problem is little interesting in the sense that see here we have defined the outlet condition and we want to know the quality of the steam so the quality of the steam see that that is the beauty of this high seas or in the simulation that you don't have to really go forward and that's what you define the problem you can go backwards also so if we define the backward parameters automatically the forward parameters also get defined and this becomes very useful when you do a large simulation so we will show you how to do that so here again as you see that this is at 300 psi 300 psi so that this is coming at 300 psi here so this is coming at 300 psi and it is throttled to a valve here and the throttle to a one atmosphere pressure but the temperature is 250 degree Fahrenheit so once you know what is the quality of the steam in this inlet system so let us do the problem in the high uh, simulation so this is again a new system so i put so the steam water and that's defined let's cross it out and then again we go to the fluid package we add uh, a semi steam so we cross that out now we enter the simulation environment and again uh, we click here and take right click here and take this one here and we define the system let's call this as inlet inlet and let's call this as outlet and now we go to the worksheet here in the worksheet see, this is all in SI unit so let's change the unit here so we go down to the preferences we go to the variables and have variables and we choose field field one so that's going to give me the English unit so once we do that so let's cross this out so this is now all turned into the English unit so here the very first so this is 300 psi is the inlet steam before that let's define the composition of course it is pure steam so I put here one and enter and enter of course the composition is now defined now we can go to the conditions so this is 300 psi a so we define this as 300 psi a again the flow rate really does not matter does not matter how much flow is going through and whether one kg or 1000 kg the the, uh, the the outlet temperatures of course will remain the same so here uh, we let's put any value let's put here one uh, pound mole per hour and here we want to know what is the quality the quality will be reflected here so the outlet condition is 250 degrees Fahrenheit so here uh, now before that let's put the pressure uh, pressure is exhausted atmosphere so here uh, we put 14 now 14.7 uh, that which is one atmosphere pressure and the temperature is 200 uh, 50 degrees Fahrenheit so we put here 250 degrees Fahrenheit and uh, the moment we put here see automatically the forward system becomes defined so it defines what the quality so this is uh, such a beauty of this particular software so now automatically see here we have defined uh, what the inlet condition which is 300 degrees uh, 300 psi and is exhausted to or the outlet condition is at one atmosphere which is 14.7 psi and the temperature is 250 degrees Fahrenheit so automatically it defines the inlet condition which is this is my quality so uh, so that's what it shows here uh, in here you can see that uh, this is my inlet temperature in, in Fahrenheit uh, that will be the Fahrenheit and this is of course there will be a drop in temperature due to the throttling process 300 psi 14.79 psi of course a molar flow rate will remain the same uh, just to show the validity of this one what I have done here this is kind of interesting uh, we have I have um, try to use the Molier diagram to show you how to do the calculation here and uh, let's uh, 
quickly uh, go for this one uh, let's view uh, zoom to fit the window and here as you can see this is my molier diagram in this molier diagram uh, as you can see this is my enthalpy and this is my entropy here and here you can see i'm trying to expand this one so I'll let me expand this one so that this becomes a little clearer for you uh, as you can see i'll try to explain as much as possible so that becomes clear so 100 line if you follow this line here so i'm trying to get the 101.3 so this is my so this is the one uh, one of exhausted to atmosphere so this is my atmospheric pressure 101.3 and this is my uh, 120 degrees Celsius line so this is as you can see 120 degrees Celsius line so what you really wanted to go is 121.1 so this is close in here which is your uh, one atmosphere which is here which is one atmosphere which is 100 kilopascal it should be 101.3 I am taking 100 line so I go all the one here and this machine now this is an isenthalpic uh, expansion we all know that you jump it's an isenthalpy expansion so this the end so what we go we go horizontally because the enthalpy will remain the same for the inlet condition so we go here and as you can see this is my 2000 kilopascal line here uh, because this is 20 inlet condition is 2068 kilopascal so i'm taking almost this 2000 kilopascal line here and we go right here and as you can see this is my the quality line so this is four percent so basically what we have is 96 percent quality so so horizontally because this is enthalpy remains constant we come here and see the intersection of this horizontal line with the 2000 kilopascal line so this is my inlet condition and check what is the intersection with this quality line here so basically what we have here four percent which is means is 96 percent quality so which is basically the same uh data what we got uh from our uh, uh, system so let's go back to our slide here and so basically here and as you can see this was 0.9578 so this was so this is this is basically the data what we got from our high simulation so almost 96 percent quality so that's the way uh, you do it for uh, simulation of an expander which could be a turbine or any other expander and a valve. Uh, see you again next time please wait for my next lecture series uh, video lecture series on high sim and it has been arranged by www.unitoperation.com